faded gravity melting away dissolve and weightless
Faites du bruit pour Boris Breja Oh là 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 là, ça fait plaisir, vous êtes trop chaud ce soir. Alors on va passer à une interview de Boris Breja en coulisses. En attendant, Anne Clou reprend les platines et si vous êtes sage, je dis bien si vous êtes sage, Boris Breja reviendra mixer en B2B avec Anne Clou. Check check. Check check. Do you hear check, me? Check check. Do you check, hear check. me? Check check. Check check. Est-ce qu'ils nous entendent? Check check. Check check. Okay. No. Okay. That's good. Sorry, it's really difficult to organize this kind of stuff yeah, yeah. because we are in a. It's like a rush. Yeah, it's a rush. It's a rush. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, so Boris, hello. hello. How are you? Uh, actually, I'm good. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, how do you how do you feel after playing a set in this such a uh, historical place? Uh, actually, I think it was really nice because this location is like just crazy and to play here, I mean, you do it like one time in your life, yeah, so yeah. the people were crazy, the location is crazy, so it's awesome, awesome. Okay, great. So you created a label called the uh, Fucking Serious or Fucking Serious? Fucking Serious. Fucking Serious, yeah. right? Um, um, and uh, well, when, you when did you create it? It exactly? Uh, exactly, it was one year ago. And why did you choose to create your own label? Um, I think it's simple because uh, I had like some issues with my last label because I wanted to release like uh, a little bit more tracks with more melodies, and they told me no, it's not possible because this label has like uh, it's like a techno label, and so it's not possible. And uh, that's why I was creating my own label. Yeah, yeah, to have more liberty, liberty. Yeah, to yeah. have it's like unlimited, so I can do whatever I want. So that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, you you play with a mask, yes. so s sometimes only in the beginning, then you then you yes. remove it. What is the like? What is the story behind this mask? This mask. Actually, actually, there's not like a big story. It was like when I started to produce music, my my very first gig in my life was in Brazil. So it was not in Germany where I come from. It was in Brazil. Okay. So I was thinking, okay, you need to do something different because there are so many DJs. And then I was thinking about uh, the carnival in Rio and everybody is like wearing, wearing a mask. And that's why I was taking the choker mask and uh, since then I, I, I use it. <laughs> okay. But I think it's good because it's like a, a good atmosphere to have this mask and the music and the light, so it's special. Yeah. Okay, um, I, I read that uh, you are not listening a lot uh, to electronic music. Yeah. Um, what kind of music do you listen when you are at home? Uh, actually, actually, I hear everything. I, I, I listen to pop, to rock, because I think in every genre there's like good music. Um, and I really love the, the German guy Hans Zimmer. Oh yeah, he's doing like film scores. And I went two times to his concert, and this is like. A, a really good influence for electronic music because the the melody is like so complex. Yeah. And yeah, that's 
That's cool. Yeah. I think your music um, goes really well with this place. Like it's kind of uh, cinematographic and like really uh, yeah. <laughs> powerful. <laughs> um, I mean, so actually, actually, it's strange to play on that place like techno music, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, it's I kind like of it. strange, but yeah. <laughs> it I like fits it. well. Yeah, I think people liked it uh, yeah. as well. Um, I have. I, I will just look if. Um, other people asked question. Okay. I guess a lot of people are asking, like, uh, how do you do to make such uh, all people such happy with your music? And uh, can you send me the track list, etc.? Yeah. So I don't know if you if you will share your track list, but I guess a lot of people want uh, to to, yeah. to know the track. Um, I just see. Okay, sound everyone a true artist. Everyone wants to hear more of your music, more, I guess. Yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> with, with which artists would you love to uh, collaborate, uh, for example, for your label? Um, actually, I think uh, Stefan Botzin is really good because yeah. he's. I met him. Uh, I met him a few times, and he's like a super nice person, super nice producer. So. I think this would like a good choice to make like Boris Brescia and Stefan Botzin. Uh, I definitely yeah. agree. And yeah. would do, are you making like uh, something together soon or? Actually, no. Okay. But you but never you know. You yeah, never know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if Stefan Botzin hears us, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are your big projects for the for next year? Or? Uh, actually, we have. Uh, I mean, I have not so big projects. Um, yeah. But uh, we are just focusing on our label to yeah. make it like bigger. We have like a lot of label nights we're gonna play, and we're gonna do in September. We're gonna do a Europe bus tour. Oh. So we are like 10 days in the bus and playing like eight gigs. So it's like every day a gig. So it will be like super yeah. special. <laughs> and we have like a photographer and videographer to to film all of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's <laughs> like the, the main big thing. But after that, I think, uh, of course, I will release a lot of more, a lot more music because I have a, a lot of tracks which are unreleased. And yeah, just keep it going. Okay. And uh, is it true? Like I, I was speaking with Anne Clou before, and she told me that when you learn French, uh, Chateau de Fontainebleau, which is the place where we are, we are uh, on page 26 of your uh, book. Is it true? It's oh, no. true. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So now you are here. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So uh, one last thing uh, is La Boîte Mystère, the mystery box, a little gift that okay. we offer to our uh, to our guests. Okay. Uh, so please open open it. Yeah. So these are two gifts. Ah. So, so I don't know if you know this, the this is for the girl, no? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> what is it? Do you, Do you know? Um, so. Today is Labor Day in France. Okay. Uh, it's uh, National Labor Day for first of May, and uh, this is a tradition in France. We offer le muguet, which is a lily of the valley. It's a, it's a flower, like it's a tradition in France. So we are happy to offer offer it to you. Okay, Cora needs to take care of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because with flowers, I'm really bad, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> she she gonna die, you know. Okay. Yeah, and this is the shirt. Yeah, this is the shirt. We yeah. were talking about this uh, before. Which size is it? I hope I have the good size. It's L, large. <laughs> no, you need medium. What? <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We I will send you another one. Uh, no, medium. that's okay. I mean, it's like a good uh, memory of this night. Okay. So and of you guys. So that's perfect. Okay, great. Well, yeah. I'm really happy uh, to um, that that you played tonight in this such amazing place. We are really happy that to to have you tonight. And thank you very much, Bur Boris. And um, we hope to see you soon. And um, I also wanted to, to uh, thank all our partners, um, uh, which are Le Bonbon and Gre Green Room, Trax Music, and FL Group. And I hope uh, I don't uh, forget any, anyone. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Et merci, a little message in, France, in French. Merci au Château de Fontainebleau. Thank you to the castle. Okay. Because they, they trusted us tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and as you said, it's not really common to have no. th this kind of music, yeah. techno music and high tech minimal like this. Uh, so thank you very much for uh, to them for that. And uh, see you next Monday. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.